there must be pins before we leave. Good in the 
Lord, my Lord, my soul's been anchored in the Lord. For the Lord, my soul's been anchored in the Lord. Before I sing, how one day my soul's been anchored in the Lord. I sing and pray by someone. My soul's been anchored. My soul's been anchored.
well known, you're famous throughout the whole country. After Sunday, you will be famous throughout the world, okay? There will be millions upon millions who will watch the broadcast from all countries across the globe. So you guys are in for a treat, and you're bringing it to us. It's not us bringing it to you. You guys are bringing the special for this whole event. So we're grateful to have you guys here. A couple of things. We're going to head over to Temple Square, where we'll let you off at the West Gate. We have a five-minute yeah. show you where you're, you're going to be performing. You'll see the venue. Then we're going to walk you across the street, I take you to the food court, and get you lunch. Okay, our driver has a few things he needs to say. So my last name is Molden Howard, and I just retired as a school teacher. I taught junior high PE. Oh, okay. So my students just called me okay. moldy. It's so on my license plate. Right I've been called that my whole life. And it's lot easier than Molden Hour, so that's why where moldy comes from. Okay, enjoy the ride. Because this building was built in 1867, so there was no microphones, no nothing, and they wanted to, you know, have everyone in the whole building be able to hear the speakers, hear these messages that we have here. Can you guess how many types of the organ they are? Anyone have guesses? 24. 24. I'll give you a hint, you can't see them all. Oh, so 48. 108. 108. So, there's about 11,623 pipes. <laughs> so, a little, you were close. I know, right? From, on behalf of the, the Tabernacle Presidency, it is an honor to have all of you with us. As I said on the bus, we're going to accomplish something this weekend that has never been done before. There's a collaboration of hearts and minds wanting to unite in a spirit of hope. And we are honored to have you share that with us. And so we hope that you'll have a, an awesome experience so that when you leave and you go back to college, you will always have this weekend prominent in your mind. And you'll always remember, okay, that you'll, it, it will be something feel more than just the event that happened, but what you feel inside as you are singing and raising this roof to all who are going to be here in person and that will be watching throughout the world. So thank you so much for making the sacrifice to come and share this experience with us. We are honored to have you.
there are people throughout the community who have been preparing, who have been waiting, and you will see them, meet them, and understand the level of their excitement and why. And finally, may I say it's a big deal because people throughout the world will hear our combined voice as we sing about love, harmony, unity, and friendship on Sunday. And our voices will cover continents. And it is a big deal. <laughs>
it's because we just feel the need that we know it or because like it's so ingrained in our brains but every single time you go on autopilot and everything that we worked on yesterday just completely went out the door it's it's like you're not it's like doc isn't even there it's just nothingness and weren't even paying attention going fast no diction no concept no nothing it was just a mess from start to finish so before i say how one day my soul's been anchored in the lord i sing and pray myself away my soul's been anchored my soul's been anchored I thought it was embarrassing to put it just freely out there. I thought it was embarrassing because literally nothing that we did in rehearsal did we do. Like the part where we're like, look, look we did not do that. The all hallelujah, we did not do the part that we discussed to do. None of that stuff was executed. And even if we were like, oh, we're confused because now the tempo's changing, why did we not do those things? There's no excuse for that not to be done. One. Two, if it's an issue of oh, well, Doc's slowing down so drastically and no one else is doing it. We're agreeing in this room today that if Doc slows down, we're all slowing down. That way we are all slowing down and we will be together. If only a couple people are slowing down, then of course we're gonna be off and then everyone's confused, but we all need to slow down. Even if it feels like, oh, this is awkward. If we're all doing it, then we will all be together at that tempo. And if he brings it up, we bring it up. We are good enough as a choir to be able to adapt to different tempos. And the fact that we can't do that, we should be able to do that, like no excuse. And especially on this song, a song that we know and we've been doing, we should be able to switch up and down, no question. So it's not even a fault of like, oh, why is Doc changing the tempo? We should be able to do that tempo, regardless. Point blank, period. Will you serve it? Will you serve it? Will you serve it? Will you serve it? God Almighty, are you anchored? Yes, I'm anchored. My soul's been anchored in the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, 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 please follow Doc. No, I think. I agree that, to, that it was embarrassing, and it wasn't only embarrassing in comparison, it was embarrassing just for the Spelman College Glee Club as a whole. Like Gabby said, we've never sang it like that before. We've never sang it that fast. We've never sang it that out of touch with each other. I don't, it's hard for me to understand how you can be looking at Doc and be going so much faster than him. The whole time, you're, you're not looking at your music. You're not looking at anything but Doc, so why aren't you following Doc? If you're looking at Doc and he's going slow and other people are going fast, that does not matter. You need to follow Doc and other people around you will follow suit. Like this is a collegiate level. Do we understand that? We have a hundred years behind us, y'all. We should not be producing a sound that is so mediocre. And A2, you already saw my text. We have a meeting after because I can get into this a little more. And we're going to have a section in the morning. But it's, it's just disappointing. And it's like, I'm not sure what else needs to be said and done. You have videos, you have part tracks. We've sang the song, like I said, since August. You have the music. And I think it just shows like a lack of, of care, of intentionality. Um, like I said, we're at a collegiate level. We shouldn't just be singing rhythms and notes. That's the basics. That was established in August. Now we're having this articulation. We're doing the sports sondos. We're doing the accents. We're, we're doing it all. We're feeling the music. We're singing about our souls being anchored in the Lord. Do we understand the, the weight of that? That Do you understand that the lyrics that the first sopranos are singing? And do you love him? This is, this is a cry. Imagine people who have gone through years of, of pain, of hardship, who are being asked, do you still love the Lord? Yes, because my soul's been anchored. But I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that at all. A big reason why we keep speeding up is because you're not taking the time to be intentional and really understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The, all those times last night I was saying in the, the and it didn't even happen in the like what are what are we saying what are you, that means you don't really care you're singing so just flat it, it has no body it has no emotion it has no flavor it's so boring are you are you are you tired of being boring like wake it up Please, please, because this isn't the first time. This is the first time we've been embarrassed doing it. It slides by in rehearsal. It slides by everywhere else. But you have to start being intentional. 
all the little things, we're not saying it for our health. We're not saying it, oh, because maybe it would just be, you know, great if we just eat. No, 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 because you need to do it. And we're not going to sit here and be embarrassed again. Anybody else have a comment to take this? Um, I know we keep saying intentionality, but when I'm thinking about that word, it makes me think about like why I'm angry and why I want to be here. So I think that's, I'll keep it short and just say that I think that's important to think about and reflect on um, why you chose to be in Glee. Because um, I know I love performing, so I have to think back, okay, moments like these, um, just remind myself of why I'm here and be intentional about that and execute that and project that in my singing. That's all I would say. The reason why we're not prepared when we're on stage is because we're not preparing ourselves before we get on the bus, before we get on stage, before we communicate with others. How are you going to ground yourself for the next three days to ensure that what happened today doesn't happen again? If you need to journal, if you need to define anchor for yourself, if you need to write out your why, if you need to speak to your section leader about notes, do something that is going to help you to become more grounded and prepared. You can't go on the stage, oh, I'm just going to perform. You can't just perform. You can just go home if that's your mindset <laughs> because that's not what we embody here. You're not grounded. You're laughing and joking. You're playing around. You're not embodying glee, grace, poise, and elegance. And that's unfortunate and highly distasteful. So let's prepare ourselves. Johnny Griffith came in, and me and her have been in communication for a while, and she she was really touched by what we did today. But I know these are the nice alumni, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> and it's not to be mean, and it's not to hurt anyone's feelings, but they are the legacy. You know, when you say, "Oh, I was part of the Spelman College League Club," you have to remember that there were so many people that came before you. People will be at our rehearsal tomorrow and our rehearsal on Saturday, and then more people will be in the congregation on Sunday because they are so excited for this partnership. So right when you step inside, I'm smiling with not joy because I'm here, joy because of the joy that I'm receiving from other people. Joy because Spelman alum are coming out to see us because of how monumental this is. Because Spelman alum guide us so much so that they will stay after the performances and come and speak to us because they want us to continue the legacy that your e-board and that Bianca has mentioned. It is so important to put this performance on that we rehearse and practice. We got it. It's instilled in you. It's instilled every time we sing this film and hymn. Every time an alum wants to hold your hand, it's in you. Now you actually have to do it once you get in there. So it's not a I don't have it. You do. Now you just have to turn the switch around and you have the switch. You have all of your upperclassmen who are holding you. First years, don't be discouraged. Like Madam Press said, we are holding you up. Just come and talk to us. Now is put on that smile and actually sing the words and actually sing them, how you interpret them, how you understand them, and how you want them to be received. Today was just a bump. And what happens when you hit a bump? You roll over it and you keep going until you hit another pothole in Atlanta. Like, you just keep going. Because it's going to happen again. The roads aren't going to get fixed anytime soon, but we have to work to getting them fixed. So the work is, we moose out tonight. You talk to your section leader. You have a moose out with yourself. And then come tomorrow, it's not a new day. It's another day. It's another day to make it better. It's another day to move forward and do what we came to do, which is what? To amaze and to inspire. Y'all got it. Y'all got it in you. Don't feel down. Everybody smile. Like y'all are like frowning. It was just a moment that we have to improve off of, but it has to it has to happen quicker. Because another trip can happen in a month. Doc takes an opportunity because he knows that you're ready. He wouldn't put you on the list if he didn't know. And if he didn't think that the upperclassmen would hold you there. And your e-board has got you. They got you. So trust them, trust yourself, and do what you came to do. And smile at Look like you like what you do. <laughs> <laughs>
protocol. 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 But, now, but now look at us. Yes. Yes. All right. Together. See you later. I'm trying to take 2.5s, you know, 2.5s, you can lie. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. In the gym. I want to give a They're bucket of love so. to Jessica Obi. Yes. 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 with us since last Friday. I went and pulled her on literally two days ago. I said, hey girl, <laughs> you've been doing your side reading. Yes. Come here. She said, okay. Come here. Like, and I also want to give a shout out to Gabby Greer, who also got put yes. on Wednesday. Yes. It's so good. It's, it's an example of hard work and dedication. Anyways, I just want to give a little love that's to you That's actually fire. Yeah, no, can y'all do that fun. A thing again? That was fire. Hey, 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 one. Exactly. You don't have to hide yourself up. She said she wanted to hear it again. She said she wanted to hear it again. Honestly, it's really just a battle between What? It's really between two and one.
mm-hmm. showing us how mm-hmm. it's done. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Come back, speak. In the altitude, I'm about to call out. <laughs> Okay, everyone, when we get there, we're going to drop off our stuff and then we're going to go straight to the stage for our rehearsal with the band. So when you're going inside, make sure you just bring the stuff that you're going to need for the performance. If you have like, if you don't want to bring your whole bag, you don't need to bring your whole bag. You can leave it on the bus and just bring the stuff that you're going to need while we're having, we're performing for the tabernacle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
to the Morehouse College Selma College League Clubs for a historic and memorable
know we're about ready to part ways. Yep. It's not goodbye. Yeah. It's see you later. Yes. We're so honored that you guys were here, all of you. You touched us. I mean, really touched us. And when you sang the thank yous and farewell songs to the choir, we all felt that, okay? And it's great to have that feeling, to be touched inside by people that four days ago I didn't know, but I appreciated and I loved from afar. Because I met your leaders when they came out back in August, and I felt a kinship. And I knew that when you came October 19th through the 22nd, that something special was going to happen. And you, you delivered. So I can't speak for the choir and the organization, but I can speak for those of us who work with the hosting and the VIPs. You touched us, and hopefully we touched you with our friendship. We'll forever love you, and we can't wait to see you again. Safe travels, and go with a, fr a new friendship, okay? You have the Tabernacle Choir family as friends, and you'll always be able to say and show your friends and family that you did something today that was miraculous. And people all across the world will be talking about this and commenting about this. So congratulations for being totally amazing. I can't say enough. The, the group culture series is pressing on. This is going to be a group culture movie. We're going to have to figure out how to chop this weekend up. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful thing. Uh, so give it up to Kevin for his hard work and commitment to the glee on this road to 100 and fuller. Give it up. Yeah. All right, so the mic is open. Open mic. I want to express it's been an honor and a privilege to drive you. If my boss would let me, I would bring this bus out to uh, Georgia. <laughs> Drive it, you guys everywhere. It's an honor and a privilege. I appreciate your your hospitality for me and your love for me, and I I gained a great love for you, my girls. I wish you the safest trip, and may God bless you as till we meet again. A one, two, three, two.